That's one of the best scenarios I've seen designed by Jeff Phillips and Ruckus. And that was Jeff Chan right there taking a little bit of a hit from the girl who's trying to protect. Some of you might be confused. Why? Why would you try to protect the person that was just hitting you? I'm not a trained psychologist. I don't know why. But all I know is it happens more than you think. So before I tell you a story from someone that I've talked about before, let's watch how one of the other martial artists deals with it. So that's Ranton, who's trained at the Shaolin Temple, and the whole competition, he was just, he was having a lot of fun. He didn't take it too seriously, but that's fine. And in this situation, he's almost bursting out laughing. He's like, dude, I'm trying to help you, lady. There's a Chinese expression for Ranton's approach during this whole competition. So that's Ranton's approach in Chinese. As soon as she turned on me and struck me, you're on your own now. So from a self-defense perspective, average Aussie Craig did the best, but still, he lingered a little bit longer. Obviously, he was concerned for her, but you should have seen when she got between them, that's when I think your gut instinct should set off immediately. Okay, this is beyond my control. Whatever's going on between these two, I'm out of my pay grade. I'm out of my profession grade. Let's go, right? So Craig just lingered a little longer because of that, he took one or two hits from the lady. I promise to tell you a story from my life. Let's talk about this. So last video that I featured on season two, I talked about this person I had to cut off because one time we were hanging out, he's literally almost getting me into fights at every corner. So this guy, yeah, it's this guy again. He had an incident once. He's walking down the street. It's in a hipster part of where I live, LA. And he's seeing this guy smack this girl. And so he goes there to try to get him to stop, right? He's like, hey, stop doing that. And the guy, of course, is like, F you. I want to see you try to stop me. You know what this former crazy friend of mine did? Went up there, gave him at least one or two punches to the face. And then you know what happened? He felt a glass bottle break over his head. I believe it was here. He showed me the scars right here. And he turns the blood coming down his head. You know who's holding that bottle that's broken? The girl that was just getting beat up by her boyfriend. And he's like, what the F? He's sort of Ranton's kind of thing. He's like, okay, all right, I'm out of here. I don't think him in his wildest dreams, despite being such a violent, crazy dude, could have imagined that situation, right? If he did, he wouldn't have tried to help her. This is what I'm talking about. This is a situation that happens more than you think. Almost none of us are prepared for it. The only reason I'm prepared for it is because this guy in 2016 told me about it. So now I know that there's this dynamic that could happen where even if they're in a really, really weird, abusive relationship, you as the third party come in trying to do anything, they immediately still have an alliance against you. The experiment and the results speak for itself. You guys let me know in the comment section, how would you deal with this situation? Who dealt with it the best out of these three? Ranton, Average Guy, Craig, or Jeff Chan? Make sure to follow Ruckus, Ruckus Martial Arts Journey, Jeff Phillips, the guy who created these scenarios, and of course, Matt, AKA Reality Check Self Defense, he's back on YouTube, so I will link all of those guys. All right, guys, talk to you soon, man. Fight Commentary Breakdowns out. I tried to save a woman. I'm not gonna hit one right now, even though she's bad crazy. So I'm just moving my head and doing Kung Fu blocks to her hand and just doing anything I can.